Okay, hello people, welcome back uh, to the channel and welcome back to Soul Mask. And yeah, as I mentioned in the first video, uh, I will try to guide you guys through this game because I think it's the best, if not the best, yeah, uh, survival game I have played in my whole career. And I've played a few of them. If you like things like Ark and Conan, then you will find that this is the perfect combination. So where did we leave off? Wait, I had... Where did she go? Oh, she here. Yeah, we have our friend here. I will be recruiting him or her into the clan. As you can see, zero out of three. I have her. And let's check. If I press O, I will go into uh, the character profile. And then I can see, using this little button here, all my trials. Another way to do that is pressing the I key. And you will see all your clan members. What did I get? I got a skilled guard with an archery master. So that's okay. Skilled guard will probably mean she has a weapon proficiency and shield proficiency. Archery master will probably mean she's uh, done good at shooting the bow. And let's check. Spare 112. That's high. Bow 121. Oh, that's amazing. And as I mentioned, shield. Perfect. Awesome. Right, nice blade. And here you can already see that the skill levels of your uh, clansmen are always higher than your own. Let me show you my character. So this is me, level 13. My maximum combat skills reach 90. For clans member, they can go above 120. So, and as you see here, every 30 levels you get an additional perk. So they can get all four perks. My uh, primary character can only get the first three of them. Does she have any good crafting? Uh, the mining will do for now. 90, that's 3. That, it will do. Cooking will do. Armor crafting. Ooh, not bad. Armor crafting. It will do for now. She will be my... Uh, my arch guard. Yeah. Uh, I can give her a name. If I go to the character sheet. There you go. I can change the name. Uh... little comment so she will be my archer uh, she did get some uh, traits here some positive and the red ones are negative ones uh, stubborn and obsessed with improved the protection abilities while neglecting the training of all skills she wrote for dual blade hammer and gauntlets is way way down archery master okay soft leather weak blunt strike not very sturdy against blunt attacks oh, yeah. Got a mistrust fortune, reducing the trade chance of all skills. Clumsy food, she will make more noise. Uh, well, she has shield, but her defense is low. Uh, blade produces less threat. Yeah, okay. She might be getting, uh, I think, I'm not sure, but I think she might be dropping some of the negative traits every five or ten levels and then gain some positive ones as well. But for now, she will do. Uh, let me give her some of that spare loot I got. View items. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I forgot to turn that. I'm recording this back to back, so I didn't really check uh, the settings yet. Uh, yeah, this one, this one, this one, and this one. She is spare and shield. Definitely shield. She has some blade proficiencies. But most importantly, she has bow proficiency. So let's give her a good bow. There you go. Let's give her half of my uh, split in two. You can do that by right clicking and pressing S key. And so it's not, no, 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 stay here, stay here. What are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Stay here, wait, I will deploy her. Deploy her means that she will uh, follow me and do as I wish. Uh, I was not ready with you. So you have bow blade. What else do you have? Let me check. She also has proficiency in great sword. Yeah, let's give her a great sword too then. So the great sword is actually this one. I did split my bandages so she can heal a bit. I will need to get her some food as well at some point. 
do I have food on me? I have some potatoes. I can make some cooked meat, of course. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing, making some cooked meat. And anything else I want to get to her? Uh, not right now. So the first thing we will be trying to do is make a, a little base here. And for that I need, of course, some uh, thatch, thatch foundations. Let's check foundations, thatch ones, thick rope. I need some thick rope. Okay, let's meanwhile check into the technology by pressing the T key, of course. And yeah, unlock the, ch unlock the chest. Unlock, not unlock, yeah. These bandages will come in handy at some point. Slaughtering, yes. Crafter's bench, yes. The tannery, yes. I want to have some food processing, of course. So let's unlock that. And then I will need, I have the points. I will need the grinding because I want to make some poison and probably some healing salves. I probably want to unlock stone weapons. Uh, do I want those? Well, I might want the stone arrows though. This is level 12, I'm level 11. I think I'm gonna wait on that. If I get a level I can switch immediately to uh, this one. But I will be taking the potting because I will need that if I want to make some food. And of course, next step up is this one, a bonfire. A bonfire is what will protect your base. So on official servers there is something like decay. Buildings will decay unless they are close to a bonfire. And I can already unlock the beast bone tools, that's nice. I will need them. The beast bone weapons I can't make yet, this I cannot make yet. Uh, I don't really need this one right now, collecting the rainwater because I'm close to a water source. Oh, I can already unlock the wooden buildings, nice. Ah, strength 15. Yeah, the building station and the wooden foundations, wooden walls. So I think I will be going for wood first. This is a strange one. Do I want that? Wooden frame. Yeah, I need the doors. Do I want furniture? Yes, I will need the beds, but I need level 15 for that. And I don't... Well, my points are getting low. So let's get started on a base. What do I need? A construction? Well, carpenter's table, maybe. And then the construction of the building. Building. The building workshop. I will need stone and planks. So first things first, I will need the carpenter's thing. This one. Let's make one. And then... Place that somewhere. I think I will need foundations in order to place that. Let me check. Do I need a foundation to place that? I think I do. Yeah, so I need thatch foundations. So first things first, uh, I need my sickle back. Oh, I have it on my hopper. Five. Let's go collect some stuff. Should have enough thatch to make at least one thing. Okay, let's uh, build a foundation. There you go, thatch foundation. Is that on number two? I don't really care where it goes for now. Here might be okay. Put that one on there and now I need the planks because I want to make the building thing. So let's make one more foundation. There you go, and then the construction. Oh, no, it's the building. Building workshop. 
I will need stone and planks, okay? And foundations. The nice thing about this game is also that it shows you if I type in a foundation, you see that I can only make a thatch foundation from my inventory. But if you click on this other, it will show you that wooden foundations can be made in the building workshop. It also shows me that the stone foundations, I have not unlocked those yet. So, you go here, and then I need 20 of these, 20 planks. So, here I have other options. I can craft them myself, or I can add it to a crafting queue, and then assign a thrall to do this, or a clans member. In my case, I only have one. You can see the it's lit up in green that she can go to 77 in wood and stone. So she's not really good for this, but it will do. And if I now put logs in there, she will start to make the planks for me. So what I need to do is cut down some trees. Okay, stop deploying you. You can end deployment because she's now fighting for me. And if I end deployment, she will start working on the crafting table. So, and you could have a whole set of thralls uh, actually helping you doing stuff. And she will gain knowledge and uh, proficiency in those things. It's you and you. So she should be getting on there and crafting those things. Yeah, okay, she's making the planks. Perfect, and once I have 20 planks, we should be able to uh, create that building thing. I'll need a lot more wood, so I'm going to be continuing cutting down some wood and creating some foundations for a little build. And I think I will be seeing you guys uh, then when I have something ready to show you, because right now I need to do some gathering and collecting of materials. So yeah, talk to you guys in a bit, and then we can do some building. Okay, I'm back. I can make the building workshop now. And place that one down. I'm gonna give the nuts to my friend here so she has something to eat at least. Okay let's place this one down. Here we go this is only temporary and then from here I will be able to make some foundations. Some wooden foundations let's say I need 6, 18 maybe. Let's press D, let's say 18, yeah, sure. Uh, appoint our caretaker to it. So she will be now working on this crafting station and on this crafting station. And I need some chests. Yeah, a thatch box would do. Why do I need a thatch box? Well, if I put the materials in the box, then our thrall will be able to get it from the box and use them. So box one. Let's place that here and then in here I will place the wood related stuff, the thatch related stuff like this. Uh, do I need to place something else in there? Probably not for now. Yeah, the planks. So if I make, let her make 100 planks the only thing I need to do is make sure that there is logs in this box. Then she will get the logs from the box and craft using those logs. So let me collect some more uh, materials and then we can continue. Okay, I'm back and uh, we did make some uh, foundations, some wooden foundations. So I will be placing those. Now, the good thing about this is that you have also access to a uh, triangle foundation. So if I press Z, I can switch and I can Place some triangle foundations, I think. Is this very deep? Yes, this is deep. So I think I might be doing something up here. Probably here, yes. Wait, what's the highest point here? Yeah, something like this. Let's do something round to start with. I will explain why later on. Actually, it will become clear once I create the bonfire. Yes, I am a little bit uh, worried about angles and stuff. Uh, no, yeah, like this. 
like this, like this, like that. I can't really place that one yet because there is already one there. But let's place the others. You then go like this. And then turn you around. I want things to be as good as possible. So I need a couple more f uh, foundations. But I can already destroy this one. I don't really need it anymore. Dismantle. Dismantle. Now the good thing is that you can actually move things as well. So first things first, let's make the bonfire. And yes, I hope she will create that. Unattended or without a caretaker. There. You? Yeah, she's making it. So the bonfire is what will protect our base from a decay. Actually, we have decays turned off on our server, but I have my bonfire. And that's also the place where uh, the people from my tribe will gather. And the good thing about making a round base to start with is that you can place actually the bonfire in the middle. Uh, it's not really in the middle, but I can, of course, relocate a little bit. There you go. Relocate. No, relocate. And try to center it a little bit more. Like this. Now I need to put, of course, some stuff into this. I think it works with bark. Yeah. So let's place some bark into the campfire. Uh, where did I put the bark, actually? Somewhere in my pockets. There you go. You can go in there. And now for the duration of 68 hours, this area is protected. Now the good thing is I can actually hold E and press E and hold E and then relocate. Later on this will be even easier because we have also a building hammer which will help us do that. Like that. And then you... Let's relocate you as well for the time being. Maybe that's not such a good idea. I don't know. Exceeds the relocation distance. Maybe I should turn that off actually. I can't do it because I'm in the way. Yes, and then you as well. well. I will leave you there for now. So I can destroy this one. I would pick it up if I still needed it, but I don't really need it anymore. Dismantle. Yes. So can you make some more foundations for me, please? Foundations, what do you need? No planks, no hardwood planks, or no premium hardwood planks. So you should be making more planks. Okay, planks, let's make uh, another 100. And let me gather some more wood and continue with the build. Actually, what I should be doing is upgrading my uh, axe to a stone version one. What am I missing? Some stone and some branches. Wait, I should have that. Stone. Branches. Ah, I need more stone. Okay, let's go back. Or pick up actually some stone. I can pick this this up here. Okay, that stone axe. And let's pray I get something better. What did I get? Not really. Oh, this was also a stone one. Okay, uh, I guess I will need to continue to cut so some trees and see what happens. And once I have a uh, more building books, I will come back to you and show you what I will be building. Of course, when I'm still here and cutting down trees, we need some cover for the bonfire because if it starts to rain, the bonfire will uh, turn off. I mean, the rain will extinguish, is the correct word, extinguish the bonfire. And we don't really want that to happen. I'm missing one. Okay, no worries. Stuff will be made soon. What? Uh, I need one more. Uh, four or five more fun. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So let me go grab some more stuff. I will be making enough to uh, build some walls and have a roof as well. And once that is done, I will bring you guys back. Okay, I'm back. And while I was uh, collecting stuff, a little guy already did a few things. So let's let's continue. Uh, 
So let's place the foundation. I need to change this one. And as you can see, I'm now placing wooden ones. Okay, I think that's everything thatch-wise. Okay, let's uh, put this one away. I don't really need it. Let's place some walls. And let's do the same thing. I think up here I placed a staircase somewhere. Can't even see where it's gone. Anyway, um, I think I would have a door somewhere up here. So let's do that. Let's place a double door. And then let's place walls on the triangles, just to be sure. Like that. And maybe add some windows in, just to be sure. Uh, like this. Okay, and then check if she has placed the roofs in here. Yes, I have some roofs. So we could actually do that as well. Trick here is to place the roofs just like the floors. I mean, I placed, I placed foundations, square ones, and there is where the square roof should go. Using the FP, F key you can actually rotate snapping points. And now I can switch to the other ones, which is these. And then F those in place. If I need to place F at all. There you go. U as well. U as well. And then I can top off with these. There you go. So we have a little, a little house. Where we can actually start doing some stuff. We will probably be expanding this. The only thing I still need is a door, of course. So let's her make a door. Oh, I made it, okay. A box, wooden box. No, chest. Uh, let's make, I don't know, yeah, 10. Let her make 10 of those. But yeah, this is a. Uh, all the time I have for today, we have a little house, which isn't looking all too bad if you ask me. So this is oh, a little leg spike. This is the start of our uh, little settlement. We will of course be expanding that later on and this is probably just a temporary setup anyway. So we will probably be moving to another space later on. But this is uh, the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, feel free to let me know. Give me a little comment, a little thumbs up. if I. Uh, and worthy of your uh, subscription then press the subscribe button it helps out the channel a little bit as well and in the meantime i will be thanking you and i will be seeing you guys until well i will be seeing you guys next time and until then have fun and stay safe goodbye everyone